What outlandish ideas she had. I didn't feel drawn to anyone unless they were holding. I agreed with her that when we were kids, we did not belong. Yes, but my ability to relate stalled around there. She went on to tell me these stories she seemed to have quite made up in her head. We are deluxe, she said, lifting her head, rolling back her shoulders and sharpening her gaze. We are divergent from the ordinaries. We have inherited an undying thirst for their fear, what we call the tangy energetic. Aim and bless and Freddy. They talked about this tea all the time. It was the wildest thing. Because they talked about it the same way junkies go on and on about dope. Abbreviating names of substances. Bringing them down to an easy syllable to roll off the tongue. Speed. Molly. Boy. Girl. Crystal. Tar. Tea. Imagine how it feels to be on the other end listening to these tall tales. I tried to keep a straight face, but here in the 21st century, I got a sense she was channeling some kind of mystic from centuries ago, the way she changed her tone of voice and demeanor. We live to draw off the tea in a flash, she said, and all does not always end well for an ordinary, my dear. If only my step-parents knew what they were unleashing into the world, they would have shucked me off like dead skin to the town executioner. When I was a helpless, abandoned child, they took me in and sheltered me, she continued. But now I am grown, I am dangerous, and I confess, we have taken lives. <laughs>